guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's on my iPhone video. I have been seeing these videos go around again as like a throwback YouTube video which is the reason why I did my what's in my purse video because I love like old YouTube videos just coming back around and stuff like that. But no. And I figured I would do this um, what's on my iPhone video just to see because I like seeing what other people have on their iPhones and I don't know. So I figured I would do one of my own. But before we go ahead and jump into this video, if you don't mind, please click that subscribe button. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, I do have the iPhone X and I love it. Before I got the iPhone, I was kind of kind of um, hesitant to get the this iPhone because everyone was saying like there's so many glitches and obviously I mean that happens with every phone that comes out because there's always glitches and then it's out for like a month or so and then they fix all the glitches with an update and so I kind of lucked out because um, I got this phone a couple months after it came out actually so I did get the um, the black or like I don't know if it's like space gray or black or whatever I don't know but I got this one I wanted to get the silver one originally but they didn't have the color in stock so I did get this black one which I'm not complaining I love it so I'm sure you guys have already seen like so many iPhone X videos but um this is mine <laughs> um let's go ahead and start recording my screen and then I can show you guys what I have on my phone okay so is it recording yeah it is so this is my home screen and I have like all the basic apps that come on the phone on this page right here so this is like you know obviously email calendar photos camera basically all of the boring ones and then this is like the other apps that come on the phone as well but I never use them so I put them in a folder so that they're not like all spread out so I have that and then on the bottom I have my phone app I have Google Chrome which I use more than Safari just because I use Google Chrome on like all my devices, ooh, I almost dropped it, on all my devices, like my MacBook, you know, all the computers, and it just kind of like links it all together, and it remembers like all your bookmarks on all your devices and all that stuff, so it's just so much easier and kind of convenient for me, and I just like Google Chrome better, ooh, in general. And then on the next page is where I have the rest of my apps. Well, let me finish talking. And then next I have the messaging app, obviously, and then the Apple Music app, which is the music app that I use most often. Um, I got the like the monthly membership or subscription or whatever, and I use that, and I just download all the music. And I like looking at the new music um, tab and just to see like what's popular and stuff like that. That's kind of where I find a lot of my new music a lot of the times. But I go here and, you know, there's playlists, there's today's hits, all kinds of stuff like that. So I like this app. Um, it's just really convenient. And then on the next page, I have FaceTime, Calculator, my Bible app, and then my Flow app. And then I also have the Tile app, which I did talk about this in one of my favorites videos. I can't remember which one, but I will link it somewhere um, on a card somewhere up there and it's basically like so if I lose my phone I have this little tile that I hook onto my keys and I just double click the tile and um, it'll ring up my phone so I can find my phone and then vice versa I can go into the tile app and then press the find button and I don't know if you can hear that but my keys are downstairs and I can find my keys and then once I find it I just click the done button and that's it and I found this to be like super convenient because I always misplace my phone misplace my keys so my husband and I both got these just to you know help ourselves out <laughs> and so okay so I used to be the type of person that never liked to put my stuff in um, folders but there was just so many pages and it was just so unorganized and I started to get like you know about all the apps all over the place so I put them together in folders like everyone else does well not really like everyone else but um, so in this app it's my social app I have my Instagram here and Instagram is probably my favorite social media app 
Um, I like Instagram stories. I look, lo um, I like looking at Instagram stories. I like posting things. And yeah, I'm trying to get my Instagram game up because for a while there, I dropped off of Instagram probably for like a year. And so I'm just picking it back up. I tried to pick it back up while I was living in Korea and it just, I don't have very many posts from like recent times, but I'm trying to get back on that and just be better at that. Um, and then I also have my Facebook app. I have my Twitter app, which honestly, I don't use Twitter often. But um, I'm trying to you know, just be better at my posting and things like that. And then, of course, I have YouTube, and obviously that's just a big thing to me. I love YouTube, and yeah. Then I have Pinterest, which is also a big thing. I get so many ideas from Pinterest. Um, if you want to follow me, it's just Amanda Ramos on Pinterest, and I do... Um, food things, I do house decorations, um, Dexter Ray is my dog and I have a whole folder dedicated to him. I do have DIY stuff, workout stuff, beauty stuff, words of wisdom, um, tattoos because one day I want to get a tattoo, I just don't know <laughs> what to get. I have hair, clothes, um, holidays, you know, just different things and I just use Pinterest for everything, inspiration for food, clothes. Um, just everything. And then I have Facebook Messenger, which I used to use a lot in South Korea just to keep in contact with everyone here in the States, but I don't use it as often anymore. But I just keep it on there just in case. And then I have Netflix on here and Hulu on here in the social app just because I didn't have another folder for it, so I just included it in this app. And, um, yeah, Netflix, I watched a lot of shows on there and I'm kind of I'm kind of looking for a new Netflix show, so if you have any new um, recommendations for Netflix, leave them down below and I will check them out because I'm always on the hunt for a new show. And then I have the Hulu. My husband and I recently just got Hulu because in Korea it's like you can't watch Hulu in Korea, so we just got it when we moved back to the States. And I am hooked on this show called Homeland and I just started the fourth season. And, uh, it's it's a it's such a good show. If you haven't seen Homeland, it's it's not for everyone. But yeah, it's super complicated and the story is quite long. So just go ahead and check it out. It's one of those like CIA drama shows. But yeah. And then in my next folder, I have my photo and video folder. So I have Facetune 2 and Visco, which I use both of those to edit my um, um, pictures that I post on Instagram or whatever. I have InstaSize, which I hardly ever use, which honestly I don't even ever use it, which I could probably delete that. I have iMovie, which comes on the phone, which I don't ever use either, but I just keep it in this folder. I have iSmartDV, which is the app that I can hook to my camera so that I can see myself um, on my phone. And um, yeah, I have the Boomerang app. I have Google Photos, which I use just because um, I am such a sentimental person and I don't like deleting photos, but sometimes I run out of space on my phone and I don't want to delete the photos. So I just have them back up into my back up onto my Google account so that I can still keep them but save space on my phone. So I have that. And then I have this raw plus app which I recently just downloaded. And um, I downloaded it because I guess it's easier to edit photos when they're raw photos. And so I need to play with this a little bit more, but it's pretty cool. You can like um, adjust the ISO, the shutter speed. What is this? Just different, um, I guess different, um, what do you call those? Settings or filters, filters. But I need to play with this app a little bit more, but um, I'm interested to see what it would look like. So that's kind of cool. But I like that. And then I have this Pixie app, which I also downloaded pretty recently, which I used this app to create my um, um, Instagram story covers. So like I have my YouTube family, I have my life one, I have... Um, music and then I have my words of wisdom template for Instagram so I use this to create that um, just super easy it has like different um, let's 
like right here I downloaded it and you can use different texts and different little um, filters, different you know, stickers, text styles, text arts, and emojis. So I can just add different things on here and then just save it onto my phone, which is how I created my Instagram covers. And then in my next app, I have this shopping app. And the first two, Favado and Crazy Coupon Lady, are couponing apps, which I tried to get into couponing a couple weeks ago, and I'm still trying to figure it out. It's kind of difficult, I think. For me at least, I don't know. I'd want to try and learn to just save a couple bucks here and there and just kind of get into couponing. I think I would enjoy that because I like doing those kinds of things, but it's really difficult for whatever reason. And then I have my Publix app, which is where I go grocery shopping, and I like to keep that app just to see what kind of deals they have from week to week because it changes every week. And then I have the Zulily app, which my aunt told me about, and it has different house stuff, you know, just kind of everyday things, honestly, clothing, hair stuff, house stuff, shoes, you know, kitchen things, everything, which I haven't bought anything on there yet, but I just like to look and see. And then I have the Offer Up app and the Let Go app, which I just like to keep an eye on just to see if there's anything that I could get um, for the cheap, just around my area, like if someone's selling, like, um, like a bed or something or things that I need around the house or whatever I just go on there or like for example my husband and I are looking for like workout benches and stuff like that so we can make a little workout area in our garage so we're just like keeping an eye on the offer up app and the let go app and see if we find anything um, the next app is wish which I like the wish app I would not recommend getting like okay I like Wish App. A lot of the stuff is cheap. You have to be careful what you buy from there because some, sometimes the stuff is like one or two dollars and it's not like high quality stuff but I got a couple watches from there and I really like them. They were only like two dollars. It takes a long time to come to you. Like I've ordered some watches and it took a, like maybe two or three months to get to me and I'm if you're patient enough for that and you're willing to get things for cheap and patient, then this app is for you because you can find all kinds of stuff on here for really cheap. Uh, it just takes a long time to get to you. I have the Walmart app and I just use this for the savings catcher. I have the Yelp app just to look at different, um, you know, <coughs> restaurants. Are you alright there? I just look at the ratings of different restaurants and um, stores and stuff like that. Um, this is the Kayak app, which is for like um, airplane tickets, hotels, things like that, which we used a lot while we were traveling from like Colorado to Alabama when we were during that time. Um, I have the Amazon and eBay app. Um, here is the Cam Scanner app, which I use if I have to send a document to my husband and he's not here. Um, I just, like, let's see if I can find something. Like, if you take a picture and it, like, scans it, and then you can adjust it to, like, the um, size of the paper, and then you, like, do that, and it, like, scans it. So it looks like you used a scanner, which we have a printer and a scanner now, so I don't have to use this, but sometimes using the phone is just a little bit more convenient, I feel like, and especially if you're on the go and you have to do something really quickly, this is super easy. Then I have Craigslist, which is another thing like off rep or let go if you don't know what Craigslist is. Same kind of thing, same concept. And then I downloaded the Wayfair app because I'm still trying to figure out this whole office guest room situation. And we have like a little um, bookcase and a desk, which we did get, I think, Saturday evening. So we set this up um, a couple days ago, and I liked it so far. I'm ready to get the rest of the room set up. It's really empty, but... I just use that to try and find cheap like beds, desks, decorations, all that stuff. So that's that app. And then this folder right here is just my music app and it's pretty lonely. I have Shazam and Pandora. And then I have this finance folder which basically just has my banks and stuff like that. And then I have my games folder which I don't play games very often unless I'm like super bored. but or if I'm trying to relax. But I have the Free Play Sims, Angry Birds 2, Splashy. Um, my husband showed me this Bobber, Bomber Friend game, which is like Bomber Guy. 
and it's super fun. Me and him sometimes play it against each other. And then we have, or I have this solitaire app, which I usually play like if I'm trying to relax before bed or something like that. I like solitaire. I don't know. And then I have this TV app, which is basically, it has the, um, like a controller for my fire TV, which is what this fire TV, it's, we have a fire stick and sometimes I lose the control, so I just use this to control it. And then I have the SmartCast, which we have a Vizio TV, and that's also another controller for it. And then I just have my Nintendo Switch app. But yeah, that is all the apps that I have on my phone. I always like seeing um, the apps that other people have on their phones. It gives me ideas of maybe um, things that I want to download. So I hope you guys found this video entertaining or helpful in some way. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.